Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Maria's Gamisa cookies. And the cereal. And the cereal. Uh, so the cookies were $2.98 at Walmart. The cereal was $2.72 at Walmart. But now, this is a big package of cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend Carlos told me, um, he said, it's been eight years. I didn't even realize. It's been eight years since we've tried the cookies. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> That's a long time. We better try these cookies again before we try the cereal. Because we can't tell you that the cereal tastes like the cookies if, if we haven't had the cookies recently. And they didn't sell a smaller package. Though, no, this, no. You know Walmart. Walmart's all about the bigger sizes, especially when it comes to cereal. So I'm surprised that's a normal size. I know. Box. Really? Super sized cookies, regular size cereal. Right. So you get four of those packages in here. It says made with mom's authentic love. And just, they're just, they look like very plain cookies. Uh, about 19 servings are in the container. Eight cookies are 120 calories. So you get a lot. And, and uh, they're uh, made in Mexico. Marines. I like the texture, they have a nice crunch to them. But they are very plain. It tastes like an animal cracker. Mm hmm. Or very similar to an animal cracker. Although there's a slight, like, like, do you get a, like a lemony kind of flavor in those? A slight, like, citrusy. Not citrus, like in tart, but just like lemon. There's definitely something else there. Yeah. It's um, like a lemon. It comes across as lemon to me. Yeah. And you know what? It might be some kind of... Um, There's a lot of ingredients for such a small cookie. <laughs> it might be some kind of... Um, I don't know that I would say... There is definitely something else. That's what comes across in my taste buds. As no, well. no. I mean, and you, you don't know. Uh, there's definitely something else in there. It usually says natural flavor. Or yeah, you so, say, so yeah, you literally have no idea. It's very, very crisp. Mm -hmm. Very, very thin. I do like it. Yeah. Um, this is the kind of thing that I can see buying these if you need a base for something. If you're going to make a bar, if you're going to make a, some kind of a, a pie, uh, then you Crumble can muffins. crush these up, crush them up in a food processor mm -hmm. and uh, add butter, whatever, and uh, put it, use them as a base. Um, also, these uh, like uh, Nilla wafers, you use those in banana pudding. I'm wondering if there's a special uh, like, like Mexican, yeah. yeah, like a Mexican dessert, like a banana pudding, but there's a special dish where these cookies would come into play, where these would be really good for that because they are so thin and crisp that they would be good. I think they would hold up well in pudding. Mm -hmm. um, I like them, though. There's nothing wrong with yeah, them. Yeah, like I said, there, if you've ever had an animal cracker, you pretty much have one. I think so, too. Uh, so Although you get a lot of those, and I like the, I like the shape and the the usability of those better than animal crackers. I do too, because animal crackers, you know, they're, yeah, you, you're not gonna be using those in anything, right. really. Um, so now we can fairly assess the cereal. It, um, it says the same thing that the box does, made with mom's authentic love. Um, it not her fake love, her real love. Her real love. <laughs> um, it says the cereal, uh, let's see, meet the Maria's Gamisa family of products. It literally, there's nothing really. There's nothing. I mean, there's nothing. They put absolutely no effort into the box, uh, which is disappointing. They could have had cute little games and stuff. They could have had something. Yes, something. This could have been a educational moment here and they they missed it yeah, talking uh, about where they come from mm -hmm. or whatever yes they, they completely missed that um one cup is 160 calories there are eight servings in here mm. those taste like um, a fruit loop fruit loop those taste just like a fruit loop not quite as strong. That's a fruit loop. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. But the thing about what is a fruit loop? A slightly lemony kind of flavor. And that's what I got out of that cookie was a slight lemon flavor. Yeah. But it's funny because these are made, well, they're distributed by the Quaker Oats Company. 
but it tastes like a Fruit Loop. Yeah. Um, and it's amazing how many cereals have that kind of lemony flavor to them. Uh, when you think about it, um, that's what that is. And I don't know if anybody's going to be expecting that. But it's funny that you said you got a little bit of a lemon from that cookie. Mm -hmm. And I did get something extra. I, I don't know that I would have picked it up like Kevin did. Um, Kevin has uh, more, I think, with certain flavors, uh, they come through more for him. Certain flavors come through more for mm -hmm. me. I got um, anybody. So he did a really good job picking that up because that's what you're getting in that cereal. Mm -hmm. And they're really good plain. Um, I like that. They look like little sand dollars. They do look like sand dollars, don't they? Mm -hmm. They sure do. Like you find them. Mm -hmm. I remember when we went to Florida, not us, when I was a kid, and uh, we went to the beach and they were selling, mm -hmm. uh, at Daytona, they were selling sand dollars all over the place. Somebody came home with one of those. Ashley, or remember when she went to Myrtle Beach? Mm -hmm. It was white. Seems like, yeah, it seems like she came home with a sand dollar. They the sell cereal, them in the gift shops. Yeah, that cereal is actually pretty decent. It's it's not exciting. It's not as strong as Fruit Loops, though. It's it does not have as a, strong, but I'm. Uh, it does remind you of Fruit Loops a lot. If somebody blindfolded you and gave you a dry one out of the bag, yeah, you and said guess the cereal, you would guess Fruit Loops. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's good. It stays good and crunchy. It, mm -hmm. It's got a good texture to it. I think if you like the cookies, it's similar enough to where. To it, me it is because I got the lemon from the cookies, yes, so they taste it's, very similar. Yes, to it's not exactly the same, mm -hmm. and not exactly, but it is similar enough to where I think if you like the cookies, I think you're going to like yep. this. I actually like the cereal better. Um, I do too. <laughs> I do too because the cookies, um, if I'm going to buy cookies, let's just face it, it's going to be jazzy. Sweet. It's yeah. going to be sweet. It's going to have toffee or chocolate or peanut butter Cream, or something, something. something going on. I am never, ever going to buy plain cookies like that unless that's why I mentioned all those ways I could use it yeah. because I it's want more to... more baking or using it in something else. Exactly. I would never buy those to just yeah. eat by themselves. Just like animal crackers, you would never buy an animal cracker by itself unless they were the... the circus ones that were coated with stuff. Right. So <laughs> I'm wondering if those are mainly used in baking. Like Nella um, wafers. Most people don't just buy Nella wafers. They buy them for other things. I'm, right. Yeah. It'd because be this Gamisa brand, there's a whole section of like snack cakes and stuff like that. Mm. So if you can have one of those jazzy or snack cakes, why would you buy these plain cookies? I, I just personally would not. Uh, but the cereal... If you already like Fruit Loops, it is another version. Mm -hmm. It's just, like Kevin said, it's not quite as strong as Fruit Loops. And of course it has a different texture. I, I actually like the texture of these better because the Fruit Loops tend to kind of, they're rough and they rub against they the top grate. of your mouth. They grate the, yeah. the roof of your this mouth. This is not quite like that. So. No, it's not. These, these, uh, yeah, but like he said, they're like a sand dollar. They really do look like that. And uh, so yeah, they're not gonna be grating to the top of your mouth, uh, to the roof of your mouth. Um, I do think it's good though. I think yeah. a lot of people will like these. Yeah, it's just a boring box. Just a, yeah, it's a. They really missed an opportunity here. Uh, so you know what can I say? I'm all about decorating the boxes, using the boxes, and all that. Put some cartoon characters on there or something. Um, yeah, there there's so much that they could have done. Um, you know, there, there is a uh, there's a Mexican grocery store that we go in in Lexington, and it is like the most festive store oh, you've ever full walked of characters. in. There's little characters everywhere. There are a uh, band. Uh, is that what you bunting. call it? Bunting or yeah, it's like bunting in the UK. The that, or, they put bunting everywhere, but this is like all different color. Like they're like literally getting ready to have some kind of festival in there at all times. But it is the most happy place you've ever been in and the music and everything it, it's an amazing store they could have added some personality to this box is all i'm saying and and they just it it falls flat as far as the box goes but anyway for just the cereal if you buy it i don't think you'll be disappointed no. so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching